Hey folks, Walt Biscardi with you with another Final Cut Pro lesson. And one question that we see a lot, especially from those who are new to the application, is why is it when I put my clips into a timeline, either they show up as unrendered with a red bar, or they show up with this green render line? Why does Final Cut Pro have to render all of my clips? Well, Final Cut Pro does not have to render your clips if the sequence settings and your clip settings match. You hear us say this a lot on there. Do your clip settings match the sequence? In this case, I can see right away, no, they do not. Because I've got a green render line up here. My system is fast enough to go ahead and run these clips in real time, but the sequence and the clips do not match. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. I'll right click any clip in here, format. Right here, video rate 5994, 5994 frames per second. Frame size 1280 by 720. This is a 720p high definition clip. The compressor is Apple ProRes 422HQ. All three of these must match in the sequence or Final Cut Pro is going to have to render each clip. So that's what our clip is. Cancel out of this. Sequence, settings. Well, here we go. Frame size 720 by 486. Field dominance is lower. Editing time base 2997. And the compressor is uncompressed 8 bit. Well, this doesn't match at all what we just saw. My clip is 1280 by 720. The frame rate is 5994. And the compressor is Apple ProRes 422HQ. Cancel out of that. So. What happens is Final Cut Pro has to render the clips. In this case, because I have a fast system, it is taking the high def clip, scaling it down, and playing it back in real time in the standard def timeline, but this is not the way we want to edit. Now you might say, well, how did this happen? I'll show you. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. I'm gonna go to Easy Setup. This is what we tell everybody to do. We tell everybody, go to Easy Setup and set up your project before you even start. So my system is currently set up for NTSC standard definition using the 8-bit uncompressed codec. I'm editing an HD 720p ProRes. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go right off the screen and bring it up. There it is. AJA Kona 720p 59.94 ProRes 422. That exactly matches my clip. Some of you are going to say, well, Walt, I did that. But why doesn't my sequence still match? That's because Final Cut Pro settings are global with the application, not project specific. So you notice when I created this new project, there's a sequence one sitting in here. Now you just watched me go into Easy Setup. And I change my easy setup to high def 720p ProRes 5994. That's what I want to edit. Well, let's click on the sequence one and go into sequence setting. It's still set up for uncompressed 8-bit standard definition editing. Why? Well, this is one of those little gotchas in Final Cut Pro. When I created this new project, it threw sequence one in there. When I change the easy setups, it will not change a sequence that has already been created in your project. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that sequence. I'm going to say new sequence. Now I've got a new sequence too in here. Now it picks up the project settings. Does that sound a little confusing? Yeah, it is, especially for people who are new to the application. So one of the things that I highly recommend that you folks do to help with this situation, when you start a new project, the first thing I want you to do is just delete that sequence. Just get rid of it. Go into Easy Setup. Set this up the way you want it. In my case, I am working with 720p HQ. You notice there is no sequence in here. Now, I can go ahead and start making my new sequences. And the sequence will match exactly what I want. Now, one thing about Final Cut Pro 6, if you have Final Cut Pro 6, this is still our original standard def timeline. It will fix it automatically for you. So just let it go ahead and fix it for you. I'm going to go ahead and blow these clips away and grab one of my high def clips. 
getting cut off a little bit, but it says, for best performance, your sequence and external video should be set to the format of the clips you are editing. Change to match? Yeah. Go ahead and change it. Final Cut is telling you right there, hey, this does not match your sequence. Would you like me to fix that for you? Yes, I would love for you to fix that for me. Boom. Go into my sequence settings. I now have a 720p sequence. So there you go, folks. That is what we mean when we ask you, does your clip match the sequence? And by that, we mean frame rate, frame size, and the compressor. All three of those must match exactly. Oh, and hey, don't forget the pixel aspect ratio, too. Why not? Or you will have to render each and every clip that's in your timeline. So there you go, folks. That is matching your sequence and your clip settings. Well, I'm Walt Biscardi, and wherever you are in this great world, I hope you have a super day.